Welcome back to the Motorbench Development Suite video series. So now let's check out our Motor Control High Voltage Development Board. Our Motor Control High Voltage Development Board can be used to drive a three-phase PMSM, BLDC, or AC induction motor in both sensored and sensorless field control operations. Like our MCLV 48 volt, 300 watt inverter board, this board can be interfaced with DIMMs for DSPIC33CK single core and DSPIC33CH dual core DSCs and DSPIC33A devices. It's rated for input voltages between 90 to 230 volts RMS with DC output voltages between 100 and 400 volts. It contains a single stage power factor correction circuit that connects to an inverter and gate driver circuit to run the motor. When using high voltages with this board, it's extremely important to follow strict safety guidelines. To set up this board for use with the motor bench development suite, first make sure the input power is disconnected and all capacitances are discharged. Then, let's open the plastic casing and insert the dim into the socket. We'll take off the screw here. Slide open the casing. Great thing about these dims is that uh, the way that they're designed, that they can only be plugged in one way, and they can only be plugged in the correct way. So as you guys saw here in the video, initially I plugged it in backwards. But because the connector is keyed in such a way, um, I, was, uh, I was prompted then to put it in in the right orientation, which was the opposite way than what I originally did. It's a great thing with our dual inline modules that they're keyed in a certain fashion so that they fit in the correct way. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the, uh, the casing back on. Just put the screw back in here. Afterwards, connect the three-phase wire to the motor connector. If your motor uses an encoder or hall sensor, connect the encoder or hall sensor interface here at either one of these two ports for sensor control operation. Connect the USB micro B cable from the program port to the PC. Finally, plug the power cord into the outlet. You'll see all the lights turn on there. We've already pre-programmed this board with some FOC software. So we'll go ahead, press switch one to see the motor spinning. Please take a moment to view the graphic listing all the motor control dims supported by our high voltage development board and use the QR code to go to the development board's product page. Check out the next module for more videos on using the Motorbench development suite.